Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Breaking. Now FBI says they can't find Deputy Director Andrew McCabe's text messages. The world's premier intelligence agency just lost another batch of text messages. Does anyone believe this? Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton joined Judge Janine Pyro on her Fox News program Saturday night. Tom Fitton j told Judge Janine how difficult it was dealing with, Jeff with the Jeff Sessions Justice Department. Then Tom Fitton dropped this bomb. He says the FBI will not turn over Deputy Director Andrew McCabe's text messages. Andrew McCabe was famously uh, mentioned in, P in a Peter, Peter Strzok. Lisa Page text, me text message discussing an insurance policy against the Donald Trump presidency. Now this, the FBI told Judicial Watch they can't find McCabe's text messages. So let's uh, take a quick listen in here um, to that interview with uh, Judge Janine Pyro and Tom Fenton. The Clinton email investigation was corrupt all along, and my next guest is here to outline the major developments confirming our worst suspicions about the way the Department of Justice and FBI have been operating. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton joins me now. Now, um, for all my viewers who haven't heard me say it before, Tom Fitton is the guy who does more than Congress does because he goes to court and he gets this stuff that the, the uh, FBI and the Department of Justice tell Congress they don't have, so he's my hero. But anyway... Let's talk for a moment, Tom, about uh, these text messages from uh, the uh, Struck and his gumad there, uh, Lisa Page, right? We can't find these text messages. We don't have them. It was never captured. Now, you go to court. Tell us what happens. Uh, we sued for them, and then they said they found them two hours later. Uh, what? <laughs> Who are they fooling? But don't worry, there's an internal watchdog at the Justice Department that's investigating itself here, both itself and the FBI. You know, and if Sessions were serious about this, and I think he ought to be very serious about it, is he'd recognize this is just the tip of the iceberg. He should send the U.S. Marshals in over to the FBI and to secure the evidence here, because there are other text messages that have yet to be turned over to Congress. You know, and separately... We knew there were text messages to be had. We sued back in September for the text messages of the number two at the FBI. Andrew the compromise, McCabe. Andrew McCabe. And they just told us this week, they gave us everything they were going to give us, and not one text message was turned over. Have they lost all of Andrew McCabe's text messages? I don't believe it. Back up. They're still getting Back up. Going I haven't on. heard this before. Now the FBI is saying they have no text messages from Andrew McCabe. Is that they the latest? Not. They have not turned over any text messages. They said they, they gave us everything they're going to give us. We asked specifically for text messages. We represent a former FBI supervisory agent in this lawsuit. He knows what to ask for. And they told us essentially, you're not getting any text messages because they gave us everything they're going to give us. Okay. Where are Andrew McCabe's text messages? Where are James Comey's text messages? Ah, ah. All right, let's talk about McCabe. McCabe is the one who got the Clinton Foundation money from uh, to McCall of the governor of Virginia for his wife, sends his resume over there in violation of the Hatch Act. There are at least three, four investigations, as I recall. Yeah. Uh, and the guy's still working. Tom, is there anything you can do to stop the American taxpayers from paying? these people you want the marshals over there i want them taken out in cuffs well what is director ray doing uh he's defending andrew mccabe he's protecting struck he's protecting lisa page uh in the ordinary course these the, those three individuals would be removed from fbi headquarters in the least uh so uh, there's a real problem with the leadership of the fbi either ray is oblivious or complicit Either way, we need strong action and pressure on the FBI to clean out its ranks at the leadership level that has allowed this, for instance, this scam to go on, obstructing Congress, obstructing the courts and the text message issue, and maybe obstructing justice in terms of withholding and trying to hide these text messages and other documents. Remember, it's this Justice Department that fought tooth and nail to tur uh, in terms of turning over this dossier information, which by all accounts shows that they lied to the courts. Jeff Sessions has got to take stronger action here. And if Ron Rosenstein isn't going to do it, they should find someone who will if he, Mr. Sessions, has to recuse himself from the Russia investigation. <laughs> Rosenstein's responsible for this. He runs the operations of the Justice Department day to day. The FBI reports to him in the ordinary course. There's got to be accountability. We've got to start calling 
these individuals you know, out. Directly. I don't know what else we can do. I really don't. But I got to tell you, I couldn't agree with you more. That place is dirty, and that's because it's in the headquarters. The field offices are good. Sure. But when they take these major cases to headquarters and they play politics. Tom Fitton, thanks so much for being with us. You're welcome. And all right, so there you have it. Um, be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and give me your opinion on this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.